today we're gonna make fun fuzzies. These are a lot of fun. You can play with them, toss them around. They're just made with yarn. You will need two paper plates and oh, about four or five or six balls of yarn that are about two inches in diameter. First, you should cut a hole in each paper plate in the center that is about two and a half inches in diameter. Fold the paper plate, make a little slit in it, then you can open it up and cut a circle. Now, if you wish, you could draw a smaller circle in the center of the plate before you cut it. You could use maybe a top of a jar or a, a lid of something or anything that's kind of round that is about two and a half inches. Um, I just typically just eye it and get, cut, kind of cut it around until it looks like about it. So this ball of yarn won't fit through. So I need to go a little larger than that. That'll work. So as long as all the balls of yarn can fit through, we're good. Make sure you have the same size hole on the other paper plate. Now you take one of the balls of yarn and tie it through the hole of both paper plates. Don't tie too tightly. Make it kind of snug, but it can still be a little loose. Then wrap the ball of yarn through the hole and around the circumference of the paper plate. You can do this while watching TV or listening to music or just relaxing, but just wrap all of them around. Make sure you don't have it hanging down like this. Make sure it's up near the paper plate. You don't have to pull tightly. Don't pull real tightly. If you do, then the paper plate tends to bend. We don't want to do that. We want to still keep it out like this. So just wrap it around and make sure that there isn't any slack. It's okay if it's a little bit, not a big deal if it's a tad bit, but just wrap it around so it's around the paper plate. Be careful not to have the drop the ball of yarn and let it roll away. If it does, roll it back up. I like to have it over a table and I just can drop it through and it can land on the table. When you get to the end of the first ball of yarn, take a second ball of yarn and tie the ends together. And then continue wrapping the yarn around the paper plate. Remember, don't pull real tightly, but just wind it around the paper plates just so that they're not hanging or loose. But just don't really pull tightly because we don't want the paper plates to start bending up. Third ball of yarn. Now I could stop here because the paper plate is fully covered with yarn. But I'm gonna do a fourth one. The more yarn you have, the fuller the fun fuzzy will be. Okay, I think I'll stop with four balls of yarn. I could put on some more if I'd like, but I think this is plenty. Have at least a foot or so of yarn that you're gonna need for later. So cut that off. 
So this looks like almost about two feet or so. This will be plenty. Set that extra yarn aside for a moment. Take your scissors and carefully cut around the circumference. Put the scissors into the yarn like this and carefully cut. So you might be cutting several strands at a time. So just be careful not to uh, cut yourself and take your time and just have your scissors on one side of the paper plates. It doesn't have to be in between the paper plates. But there's a reason why we have two paper plates and I'll show you that in a little bit. But I'm gonna continue cutting around the edges. Make sure the yarn doesn't fall off the paper plates. It doesn't really fall off that easily. When you're done cutting around, just double check to make sure that you did cut all of the yarn all the way around. It's easy to miss a few. You now can carefully set this back onto a table. Take that extra piece of yarn. And this is where you need the two paper plates. You will put the yarn in between the paper plates, just like this. Because what you really have now are just lots of short pieces of yarn. That's what you get after you cut the yarn, They're just short pieces of yarn now. Put it around in between the paper plates and then tie very tightly. Make sure it goes all the way Ooh, guess what? I did miss something here. I have to, this last piece of yarn, I did not notice. There we go. I'll tie it very tightly. Be careful not to break this extra piece of yarn. And then go to the other side and tie again. This time I will do it twice. I will knot this twice on this side tightly. And then I'm gonna keep going to the other side again and tie again. So I think two feet for the extra, uh, I think two feet for the extra yarn is good because you really wanna make sure this is tied tightly. because This is what holds it all together. And I'm just gonna use up this yarn. I'm gonna keep tying it as tightly as I can, double knotting it, and we're almost done. All tied. Now it's safe to take the paper plates off of the yarn. Looks kind of weird. That's where it's tied together. Now you just have to fluff it up. You just kind of toss it back and forth. And there's the there's my little fun fuzzy. Now, if you can see the difference in these two, I think it looks like it's thicker yarn. And this one too. This one I probably could have went another ball of yarn, but it's still fun. This is still awesome. So I'm thinking maybe I don't know five or six might be good, or use a really thick yarn. But there's your fun fuzzy. You can have fun. You can make these as gifts and give them away. All you need is yarn and paper plates with holes in them. And then you have hours of fun with a safe toy inside the house. So you can toss it around and have fun playing with your fun fuzzy. I like to juggle. It's that easy. See you next time.